Now we got to get to your experience making the movie, knowing that this is the first time that we have chatted since the movie came out. And as a matter of fact, it's almost going to be one year since the premiere of the movie. Yes, you're right. My boy, that was speedy. It's gone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's gone. It's gone by fast, hasn't it? So, how was your experience filming the movie, and also with your cameo, knowing that your cameo was actually at a restaurant right next door to us? Yes, uh, we're we're uh, taping or filming or whatever we're doing now. What do they call it? We're not really taping. There's no videotape. There's no movie film. We're broadcasting, we're recording, yeah, I guess. We're, yeah, we're broadcasting it, and then it's digitally gonna, recording. It's going to be, that's right, David, and it's going to be released digitally to uh, all of our uh, social media pages and our uh, YouTube page. Well, we're digitally recording this uh, in downtown Pittsburgh, and there's a restaurant next door here yep. where they taped or filmed or digitally recorded <laughs> a part of the Tom Hanks film. And I was an extra along with Mrs. Rogers and Bill Eisler, who was our uh, company president, Hedda Sherapin, Margie Whitmer, and one of uh, Fred's uh, cousins. We were right in front of the cameras eating our dinner. And Tom Hanks and Matthew Reese were about a table oh, cl close yeah. to us. And the, I remember the director saying, and if you've seen the movie, you probably have seen that scene, but the director says when Tom Hanks says re, to the other actor, remember the people who helped you as you were growing up, I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically it. Uh, I, I want the whole restaurant to stop and think about that statement. You have to see it, you have to see it on screen to understand. But that happened, and the camera panned around the restaurant, and we were all thinking about people who meant something to us as we were growing up. And you can see the camera pass right by the four, five, six of us. Mainly, you saw us. And that was a lot, a lot of fun. And they wanted that, too. The producers of the film wanted us to be those cameos to be a part of the legacy. And I'm so, it was, it took us all morning to do it. They did it several times. Yeah. How many takes did it take? I think they did three, I'm not quite sure. Then they reversed and did it the other way around mm -hmm. and saw Tom Hanks. And we, Tom Hanks and Matthew went out for a while until they did uh, the one pan, a couple pans of us, and then they reversed it and we went out and they did that side. It's, I can see it in my mind. I hope I'm making sense <laughs> as you're listening to this. But it, the, the name of the movie is called... A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Yeah, Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. And it's on, uh, I've noticed it's on uh, broadcast television now. They show it on... Uh, it's on one of the uh, premium channels yes. right now, like HBO or Showtime or one of those channels. And they alternate. It's also on Blu-ray and uh, DVD, but it's a, an excellent film. And Tom Hanks, that's right. He was nominated for supporting uh, actor. actor. At the Oscars and yeah. the Golden Globes, even though he would end up losing, though, to Brad Pitt for his performance yes. in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, which was also a good film, too. I oh, saw it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yes, it just totally two different films. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was, you have, but you have just, you, you just have like a loving just movie, and then you have a movie made by Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, they're always interesting, no matter what. But Tom Hanks, I think, was the perfect choice to play Fred Rogers. Uh, he he got the essence of it. You know, he, if you haven't seen the film, Tom Hanks didn't, you wouldn't say, oh, that's Fred Rogers. But it worked. He had the essence of who Fred was. He, he got it. And you know, there's a, a center uh, called the Fred Rogers Center in uh, Latrobe, Pennsylvania, in St. Vincent's College campus that is the archive of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and all the writings and tapes and everything's there. And he spent a day there going through the archives, learning as much as he could about Fred for the portrayal. Mm -hmm. And then I think he went back to LA and about a month later he came back and they, and they did the filming mm -hmm. here in Pittsburgh, a lot of it. Did you get a chance to have some one-on-one -on -one interaction with Tom? I, I did, the, the day of the restaurant uh, scene, I remember, he, for some reason, he collects typewriters, and I was walking by a, 
a gift shop. And I looked down, and there was a little typewriter about the size of a, an ornament for a Christmas tree. And I bought it. I said, I'm going you know, to take this just as a sort of an icebreaker. I, here I bought it. <laughs> And then another one, he, uh, I remember when he was in town, he, I think his son or his daughter visited him, and they went to a penguin game. And I just happened to have a penguin, uh, one of those penguin, uh, like a baseball card, mm -hmm. but yeah. all hockey players. Yeah. And back in the 75th anniversary of uh, the, the NFL, National Hockey, NHL. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the NHL. Uh, they each team had their own celebrity captain and Fred was the Penguins captain and I had two of those cards and I gave one to Matthew Reese and one to, Tom, to Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. Yeah. Now whether they misplaced them I don't know but I just wanted to, to do that to say welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.